Merhaba friends, MacOS Monterey VM on Linux using QEMU and KVM. And yes, we are watching a 1080p HD video of Cristiano Ronaldo showing who is the boss. And all this on 4 gigs of RAM and 2 cores of CPU that I can allocate from my legacy hardware. Sounds too good to be true? Let's get started. Right, we are going to use a guide written by Nick Sherlock. Thank you for sharing it with us. And it says, installing macOS 12 Montreal developer beta on Proxmox 6. He has showed it on Proxmox. I'm going to show it to you on QEMU. It's adapted from Koila's OSX KVM project and Leo Zen's project. Okay, so if we go to the guide that I clicked on continue reading, the first step that we need to do is we need to get our hands on on the macOS Monterey developer beta ISO and then click on it. Once you click on it, it will create an app in your applications folder which reads install macOS 12 beta on your 12 beta, but you do not have to install it. So let me show it to you. And by the way, I don't have access to a Mac, so I'm going to show it to you again in a QAUM, QEMU v, QEMU VM. And this is Big Sur. Okay, so if I go to my applications folder, we will see that I have Mac OS 12 beta. So you, need, you guys need to do this. All right. Next, next up, we are going to download a copy of his OSX KVM GitHub repository using the following link and unzip it. So back to my VM of Big Sur, uh, we are going to open up Safari and browse to the link there. I hope I don't make typing mistakes. And you can see the link there clearly. It's a GitHub link. And once this opens, you see on the left there, fork from Koila OS X KVM. All right. Thank you again. Uh, so download the zip, hit on the green button, download the zip, allow the download, and wait for the download to finish. It, sh it should show up in your downloads folder. So it's hanging up a little bit, don't worry. All right, and the download is complete. So let me close Safari and show to you, go to my downloads folder and there it is. All right, install assistant.package is the beta, Monterey beta. All right, the next up, we have to open up a terminal and run this command to install the command line to Xcode select install. So this is my terminal, Xcode select install. And yes, this will install the command line tools that is the Xcode tools that is going to be used to create the IMG. So I'll see you after 75 hours and we are back. The software is installed. Now, next up, we have to go to the Montre folder and run this command make Montre full.img. This will build an IMG file and which will we, we, we will use for our installation of Montre. So we'll CD into the Montre folder and enter this command. Now, I must warn you guys, it took a long time. So I'm going to show it to you guys by, out, by coming out from the full screen. And this is again, Big Sur, I've said, I don't know why I'm saying it again, to stressing the importance of QMU. And you must have a Mac to do this. Okay, so I didn't have a Mac, so this is all I can afford right now using QEMU and Big Sur. And so we will be using this to go to Monterey, okay. So as you can see there, if I go full screen and hit LS, and then you can see we have montreyfold.img. This is all that we need from this guide. So thank you so much, Nick Sherlock, for showing us the way, and we will use your IMG from now on. Okay, so next up, you can read his guide if you are doing it on Proxmox, not me. We are going to follow this guide from Koila OS X KVM and it says Big Sur support only and I've made a Big Sur QMU video, please check it out. But we are going to use it for Montre. So he also links it to Nick's blog where Koila also links to Nick Sherlock. So this is how I found out about Nick Sherlock. So, okay. And I also read it in Reddit. Okay. <laughs> so requirements. Modern Linux distribution, QMU greater than 4.210, relatively modern CPU should suffice. So first up, copy this command and paste it into your terminal. We are starting guys. So all right, we have already started. Click on paste, enter your pseudo password and one is good, not zero. Okay, anything above zero is good. The second command is only when the installation has finished. So we can 
forgo it for now. We already have QMU, so don't worry about it. Let's go to the third command. Now let's copy it and paste it. It might be needed, so I just copied it. All right. Now next up, we have to clone this GitHub repository of Coila KVM, uh, Coila OS X KVM, and hit enter. And this GitHub repository will be cloned in our home directory. And with the name of the folder being OS X KVM. Now, depending on your internet speed, it will take some time. Uh, it should go fast and yes, it's completed. All right. So we are going to CD into the folder there. And next up, we have to fetch the macOS installer. No, 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 no. We don't have to fetch the macOS installer because we have already done that step using Nick Sherlock. See, uh, I let me go to my downloads folder and I've copied over the 14 gigs of Montreal full IMG from my Big Sur VM to this folder. Okay, so forget about these two steps. We are good. The third step is to create the Mac HDD, uh, Mac HD image, which will store, which will host the Montreal. So let's paste it. And I'm not going to use 2028. I'm just going to use 80 gigs. All right, that's it. Next, he says we have to run this command open core boot.sh. So this is the file that we are going to change to help us install Montre and not anything else. All right. So let's open it up. I did not need pseudo guys. I mean, I picked up some bad habits. So the first thing I'm going to change is I'm going to allocate more RAM to my machine. So that is 4096. Uh, I just have three zero three gigs of RAM. I'm saying I'm going to give four gigs of RAM, four zero nine six. That's it. And I'm going to come down, and we are going to change some things which are very important. Most of it is going to change. Uh, no, sorry, most of it is going to remain the same. Uh, we are just going to change one thing which will help us install. Okay. So this is R and D, guys. I mean, trust me. I mean, it took me. Uh, it took me some time, but this is I'm showing you guys. See, come to this line where it says install media and it says base system.img, but we are not going to use base system.img, right? We are going to use montreful.img and it is in my downloads folder. So I have to browse to that path. Since I'm in my in, in OS X KVM, I need to go back one up level up and I'm going to need to go to downloads which is in my downloads folder, front slash again, and let me delete base system.img. And I'm gonna write Monterey dash full. That's it. Okay. I mean, can you believe it guys? I mean, this one line, that's it. That's it. That's it. I mean, we need not change anything else. I mean, grab a Monterey image from Nick Sherlock, use Coila and Combine both of them, and we have Montre. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I mean, I, I mean, as I, I mean, somebody used to say, you know, I've I have seen that far because I have stood on the shoulders of giants. I can really say that, and I would like to thank both uh, OSX Koila, sorry, Koila and Nick Sherlock. Okay, so that's all. Save this and save modified buffer. Click on yes, uh, not yes, hit and enter. Okay, so we are all set. So we can safely install. So all set, we will say open core boot dot sh. Starting up, Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Enter. Okay. And the guest has not started displaying yet. Okay. All right. So starting up, guys. Looks interesting, right? We have QMU. Okay. Mac OS beta. Let's see, this is the this is this this is the only screen we have on the first boot. Now, let me warn you guys, from this point on, the from from this point on till the point where you install macOS Monterey, it is going to be two hours. So please, it took two hours for me. That is what I'm telling you on the video. Please be patient. Okay. And I'm going to show you all the steps and all the screens so that you can distinguish all the reboots. There are going to be two more reboots other than this first boot. Okay. We initiated this first boot. It is going to reboot on its own. Okay, so on this screen, which says macOS recovery, we need to go to disk utility and click on continue. This should look familiar for anyone who has installed Mac before uh, using Hackintosh. So this is macOS base system. This is the macOS beta, which is the Montreal 4.ing from Nick Sherlock. 
this is QMU hard disk and this is the 80 gigs which shows up at 85 so let's click on erase and I'm going to name it Monterey hard disk that's okay HRDDISK format APFS and scheme GUID partition map looks good let me click on erase and this will erase this will prepare the disk to install Monterey in the APFS file system okay so click on done and we will close this utility this is Monterey hard disk which we have prepared so and next we need to go to install Mac OS 12 beta click on continue and from this point on I'm going to be really fast so Mac OS 12 beta click on continue Monterey hard disk make sure you select the right hard disk this is the only hard disk you have so you have to select the right hard disk and as I said before approximately two hours from that point so please be patient I'm going to cut short but I'm going to show you all the important screen so you guys can see what you will face when installing Montreal. Okay, let me save recording and let this guy, this screen man, less than a minute. I mean, it was stuck on the screen for like half an hour. Okay, so second boot, we have macOS installer. Remember to go to macOS installer and not to beta and not to recovery, okay? You can move using keyboard, but go to macOS installer, again, hit enter. And again, second boot coming up. I'm gonna read all this text coming on the screen. It will be interesting, yes. Third boot, okay. Now it says Monterey hard disk, right? It picked up the name. So I think we are on track, guys. I mean, we are right on track. So looks good. So hit enter on Monterey hard disk. And this is the third boot, right? This is automatic reboot. I did not have to do anything, okay? So it did not get stuck. I did not have to close it. It just picked it up. And it after three reboots, this is the screen after two reboots the first i initiated it and there were two automatic reboots and after two hours you can see the time right now is 21:49 and 21:58. so and they say koila says on his blog uh, specifically for us to wait on this screen i don't know maybe there are some things going on in the background so he says let the screen sit on the, let the installation sit on this screen so i have let the installation sit on this screen and expect you also to let the installation sit on the screen. So I think that's up. Okay, time to go, time to work. Okay, so select your country and region, click on continue. I think we'll customize settings. No, no, continue. Accessibility, not now. Data privacy, you get to shake hands with Roberto for, for Guinea or no, okay. Migration system, not now. Uh, sign in with the Apple app, set up later, not right now. Click on continue, okay. Please skip Robert Federer Guinea. Okay, I don't remember his name, man. <laughs> okay, create a computer. <laughs> Is it Robert? I don't know. Federer Guinea, man. Somebody from Apple. Okay. <sighs> okay. So, and location services, data analytics is on. So, I'm going to click on customize. Don't use location services. And next up will be what? It's coming up. It's going to take some time. Okay. Select your time zone, wherever you're living in. Analytics is good. Uh, okay, next up is screen time, set up later. That's good, I'm not gonna set it up right now. I mean, the point is, okay, be sure not to enable Siri. Choose your look, dark is good for me. I'm gonna click on continue and we are almost there. Yes, guys, okay, keyboard setup assistant. Your Kimio device needs to set up this keyboard, so you have to hit the sh key on the left and the right of the shift, and you have set up your keyboard. And we have Mac OS Monterey VM running on QEMU. Guys, I mean, just just see, I mean, just see. Cool, how cool is this? See, and it's 11.06 p.m. at night, and we have four gigs of RAM, and we are running iMac 2017. <laughs> So, so pretty cool guys I mean see we, we got it okay so and I'm trying to the first thing we need to go do is to go to system preferences and change the in uh, the uh, the login type from manual to automatic so go to users and groups and click on the uh, unlock click on the lock there and enter the key and unlock it go to login options pick your name and click on OK and enter your password and we should be good to go. This way it will not stop on the panic screen the next time you boot in. Let me show you guys. OK, so again, 
click, let me check login options. I don't have anything to log in with. Okay, I mean, I'm not running anything. Click the log and I'm going to hit control C on the, on the terminal and I'm going to start up again. Okay, so what do you say guys? I mean, are we going to get kernel panic? Are we going to be, are we going to be able to log in? Guys, I mean, trust me guys. I mean, this is the voice of experience. I mean, I had this experience and I had to change it. So this is like the second time I had to install it. And trust me, I mean, it works. I mean, as somebody used to say on with Apple products on screen in Cupertino, California, it just works. See? Yes. And see, we are back to the screen because I had to hit control C and it opened up system preferences again. Pretty cool. I mean, it, it really works. Okay. So, so next up, see, I have, I'm just showing you again. I mean, this about this Mac, we are on the same Mac. We have not changed anything. I'm at 2017, four gigs of RAM. Display is clunky right now. It's 800 by 600. Okay, we are going to fix it. Subsequently, <laughs> memory is four gigs and I have to get my dock from bottom to the right and I'm going to change some settings to make my Mac a little faster. In the next video, I am going to load this QMU in Word Manager. I'm going to fix the display. I'm going to make things faster. I'm going to show you guys internet. Please guys hit the thumbs up button as many times as possible on this video and YouTube is going to share this video as with many viewers as possible and they are all going to benefit. Thank you so much. Take care and stay safe guys.